Cardiovascular diseases or CVDs and prostate cancer are related in that many with prostate cancer are treated with what's called androgen deprivation therapy. This may put them at increased risk for cardiovascular diseases. We're still figuring out how exactly ADT affects risk of cardiovascular disease. There is data to suggest an association between ADT and increases in low-density lipoproteins, triglyceride levels, and fat with decreases in lean body mass. These may accelerate the development of atherosclerosis. Your doctor will look at many things to determine your risk for CVDs. Importantly, they want to take a look at the lifestyle you led before your diagnosis and your current risk. If you're a smoker, for instance, or don't get a lot of exercise, if you have a high body mass index or BMI, or high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes, these all increase your risk for CVDs. It's especially important to consider CVD risk when treating prostate cancer because non-cancer-related deaths are the most common causes of mortality in prostate cancer. And of those, ischemic heart disease is the most common non-cancer cause of death in patients with prostate cancer. Ischemic heart disease occurs when the heart isn't getting enough oxygen. This leads to poor heart and muscle function and can lead to heart failure or a heart attack. It's important that prostate cancer patients talk to their doctors to create a treatment plan to reduce the risk of CVDs, as there are plenty of ways to do so, ranging from dietary changes to different prostate cancer treatments with less risk of CVDs. Talk to your doctor, and together you can come up with a plan that works best for you.